ce Aramashira makara mama so koroto roshe makara mama masi ramashere makara maso o rama malena namala ola nina namakala namaso kara masi aramashira pakara pasi roto loka o rama mama re mama se tira makara mama maso koroshe re 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 amare masse kara makina mama re maso Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you are doing, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Father, we are in your feast, Lord. And we glorify you in this feast, Lord. We humbly come to the feet of the cross, Lord, and we surrender. We surrender our hearts. We surrender our minds. We surrender our feet. We surrender our calling. We surrender our purpose. We surrender our families. We surrender, Lord. We surrender. We surrender. We surrender. Come to the feet of the cross and surrender it all. Give it all to him. Give it all to him. Do not leave anything in your hands. Let him take it. Let him take it. These are the fees, and we have to come to him with a humble heart. We have to come to him in humility. We have to come to him, and we have to let it go of everything. And we have to ask the Lord for forgiveness. We have to come from a place of brokenness. We have to come from a place of brokenness. The lower we go at his feet, the lower we go at his feet, the greater are the blessings. There is nothing bigger and greater than him. And then he paid a sacrifice in that cross for us. And we need to come humbly to the feet of the cross and say, Lord, I ask you for forgiveness. Father, forgive me for every sin that I have committed, Lord. Father, I repent from the bottom of my heart. And our hearts have to be full of repentance. And this is a time of repentance. This is a time that we need to come to him with a humble heart. And we need to say, Lord, heal me. Lord, just come to me, name me. Lord, purify me, Lord. Lord, I need you, Lord. I cannot do this alone, Lord, whatever trial. Whatever situation, whatever fire you are facing, there is only one way out. And that way is at the feet of the cross. The higher the fire that you're going in, the lower you have to go to his feet. Run to the cross. Run to the altar. Run to the altar of sacrifice. There is an altar of sacrifice that he builds in us. And we have to become that altar at his feet. The same thing that he did to Abraham. We have to be doing that. Abraham was ready to sacrifice his son. His son, the son of the promise. The son of the promise. The only thing that he asked the Lord. Lord, I want a son. And the Lord gave it to him at a very old age. And the Lord requested a son as a sacrifice. And the man of God. Out of obedience, he took his son. And he was ready to kill him for the Lord as a living sacrifice for him. And Jesus is faithful. He is faithful. So he gave him a ram for the sacrifice. So we had to come humbly to his feet and we had to say, Lord, I am here. Lord, here I am. Lord, use me, Lord. Do with me as you please, Lord. I surrender, Lord. I surrender my family, Lord. I surrender everything that I am, Lord. I surrender my marriage, Lord. I surrender my relationships, Lord. I surrender my finances, Lord. I surrender my job, Lord. I surrender it all, Lord. I give it all to you, Lord, because in the first place, nothing belongs to us. Nothing. Everything that we have, everything he has given it to us, nothing belongs to us. And the day that we go away from this earth, we can take nothing with us. Nothing with us. So no, don't collect. Don't collect things on this earth. But shoot, shoot for the things of heaven. 
And those are eternal things. Father, let your presence, let your presence fall upon every single one of them and the sound of my voice, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And let your trumpet, that trumpet that runs, Father, that trumpet that sounds from Zion, Lord, let that trumpet be enthroned in their mind, in their heart, in their soul, in the DNA of their body. And I prophesy to the four winds that are the sound of the trumpet in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, at the sound of the trumpet, is him who's going to blow that trumpet. And you're going to receive an impartation in your body. And the DNA of your body is going to be totally shifted into the kingdom of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ and every hindrance and every familiar spirit, anything that is holding you down in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree to the four winds that it's going to be breaking today in the name of Jesus. And it's going to be a release of Jesus. It's going to be a release of his kingdom. It's going to be released, a release of his anointing. It's going to be a release of his fire. It's going to be a release, a release that is coming from heaven. The sounds of heaven are coming into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And there is going to be a shifting in your life in the name of Jesus. A shifting in your walk. A shifting that is going to take you into the secret place with the God. Into the secret place with the most high God in the name of Jesus. I bless you and I glorify his holy name. The scripture that he had given me is 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17. And it says like this, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise again. Then we who are alive and remain should be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus, we shall always be with the Lord. God is going to use his voice to call his people home. Baruch Hashem, bless the name that have to do with the Lord. Because Rosh Hashanah is a Jewish New Year, it is often referred to as the head of the year, since the head is where your mind, eyes, ears, and mouth are. This head of the year signifies that whatever our focus is, that is the direction that we will be led. Our feet will walk in that direction. When our head and gear is focused on the Lord, we will align our time and resources with his will. It is like putting on the yoke of God. The yoke turns the head and directs where our feet will go and what we will see. God's yoke is the only one that's without burden and points us in a direction that will bless us and others. So today, I bless you. I bless you. I bless you with his blessings. I bless you with his blessings in this Rosh Hashanah. And I ask you that you seek the Lord. You seek the Lord, and you come to the feet of the cross, and you ask him for forgiveness. And you bring God with, with total, total repentance. You come with total repentance into him. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, at the sound of the shofar, at the sound of the shofar, every demonic assignment, every hindrance in their life that has been holding them down, Father, is going to be a breakthrough. You're going to bring a breakthrough, a breakthrough. Anything that is holding them down, 
any chains of a slavery, Lord. The spirit of fear, the spirit of intimidation, the spirit of Babylon, the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of manipulation, witchcraft, control, mind control, the spirit of wizard, insecurities, judgment, leviathan, doubts, rejection, accusations, gossip, sarcasm, criticism, stress, afflicting spirit, the spirit of Axalon, familiar spirit, unclean spirit, seducing spirit, devouring spirit, limitation spirit, hindering spirit, a spirit of failure, a spirit of Delilah, a spirit of heaviness, a spirit of passivity, a spirit of anger, fornication, lasciviousness, sexual perversion, sexual immorality, homosexuality, lesbianism, divination, sodomy, lust, a spirit of the world, a spirit of antichrist, a spirit of mammon, monitoring a spirit, the spirit of wizard, a spirit of the age, vagabond spirit, luciferian spirit, Babylonian spirit, Soul invader spirit, gatekeeper spirit, poverty and lack of spirit. Father, forgetfulness, confusion, deception, isolation, mind binding, sleepiness, stupidity, ignorance, daydreaming, trances, laziness, lethargy, sluggishness, reasoning, a spirit of Persia. Father, I command all those spirits at the sound of the shofar. Father, you're going to break, you're going to break every one of those spirits that is holding your children down, Lord, that is affecting them, Lord, that is making them paralyzed, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, at the sound of the shofar, that sound is coming from heaven, from Zion, Lord. In the name of Jesus, it's your mouth who's going to blow the shofar. And there is going to be an impartation. It's going to be a deliverance. It's going to break. It's going to cut. It's going to dismantle every chain, every yoke, every root of a slavery in their lives in the name of Jesus. And in this Rosh Hashanah, they're going to be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Because there is freedom. There is freedom where the spirit of the Lord is. There is freedom. And there is a freedom that is coming to all of you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. At the sound of the shofar. In the name of Jesus. I seal this impartation with the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus Christ. That blood I seal you seven times. I put on the full armor of God. The helmet of salvation, the shoes of peace, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, anointed with the oil of your Holy Spirit, the sword of the Spirit, and the belt of truth. In the name of Jesus, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. In Jesus' name. <laughs>
Break through, Lord. Break through, Lord. <laughs> you in this day god bless you in this new year god bless you in this new year let the blessings of the lord fall upon your life in the name of jesus and baruch hashem bless the name bless the name bless the name of the lord bless the name of the lord shalom 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 God bless you.